what's going on everyone welcome back to my channel my name is mr stinky and uh today i'm going to be making a thumbnail uh i'll show you how i do mine and things hopefully the video won't be too long but i'm um, not for sure but i'm going to put the apps that i use uh in the description so the first thing i do is i on good street con since the pvp and everything uh i kind of like to uh send pictures so these are like all the pictures, like like every stream and everything that uh, I do. These are all the pictures that I use. So if people think that I'm using other people's stuff, I don't. But see, all these are from the game. So if you go into some of my streams, you'll see and stuff. So uh, what we're going to do right here is we'll take this photo and we'll download it off PlayStation. And we'll exit out of this. Get out of this. And we're going to go to background editor. And what we're going to do is we're going to cut out the background. And I will show you how I do that. So it's pretty simple and easy. It's nothing too hard. So let me just cut this out. And I'm not going to speed it up like most people do. Um, I'm just going to do it to where you guys can watch it. And don't worry about if you guys mess up one, you guys can always go back in and fill it in. But like I said, I don't use other people's logos. I don't use other people's photos. Uh, none of that stuff. And one of my streams, for some reason, got copyrighted. But due to a photo that's not mine. Sorry about that guys, I had a phone call here at work. So what I'm gonna do is just try to cut this out as fast as I can. Uh, it's not too it's not too hard. I mean maybe at first, but then you know you then you get kinda get used to it. Uh, just kinda wanna try to get through this here. You know, I do a little bit of experimenting on everything, so let's see, now we go down here. But if you look on one of my PvP streams from uh, Ghost Recon, this is actually the photo that I, I used for the M4. So let's go in here and do this, and I'll show you guys how to how to fill things in that you messed up. It's really easy and simple. So I mean, honestly, you don't really have to do too much here. I do the best that I can do. Uh, so I do use a few apps. So now make sure whenever you take a photo, make sure the background's like really like not dark, but like really like. You'll be able to see it. Hold on, guys. All right, let's get back into this here. I like to do the the background, like the the, the border of it first. Almost done. Now we go into the middle here. Take out that. And we take out this part here. If you hit that little pencil right here, yeah, you know, it'll bring up things to where you can like shade things back in. So I mean that's why you kind of really don't have to worry about the whole uh, 
you know, messing up and not be able to fix it. So, you know, it happens, you know, it's a learning curve, so, and I do everything with phone. So, I don't do nothing with PC, because I'm so bad at computers. So, what we want to do is try to even this out as much as we can. Sometimes it can be a little difficult, but you know, you'll get it eventually. There we go. That looks good. Now we gotta go up and finish this part here. Get get everything that we've accidentally uh, deleted out of here off. So we'll do that. Boom. Oh shit. Let me do that. Thing was recording or not so then this is only did this a little bigger go like this you can darken it up to where you can see it better If you don't watch what you're doing sometimes whenever you go to put the photo together like you can see little white spots that you missed for cutting out your background so just do it like this like this then we can just go finish out taking some of the spots here I gotta fix that there but it's not an issue do the best you can do I mean practice makes better guys always remember that and you don't need a PC to make a thumbnail I mean some people prefer a PC because it's probably easier but like I said I don't have the brain knowledge to you I mean, I know how to use one, but when it comes to software, I just don't know a damn thing. And get this all cut out. That's it. Da -da -da -da. Yep, that's it. So let's go up here, see if we got anything. All right, that's cool up in there. Do that part. I don't know this is what I'm knowing with. Uh, but yeah, right there, right here, I just cut it out. And then what you want to do is go up to done. And hit two, the word, it kind of helps out the, the background a little bit, you know, kind of clears up the lines around it. You want to go to finish, guys. And the next thing you guys want to do is go to PixLab. Now, this is where I make my text, like everything. So let me back fully back out of this, and I'll just show you guys. Now you can go... Go here to that little thing up there, delete that, then go to your uh, thing to, that's where you save it. You go to the little plus sign, go to gallery. So pretty much we just got done cutting this up. So what we want to do is keep the background back right here. And what we want to do is go to the little circle there in the middle. You want to smoke it to where it has a little bit of line. I usually go up to about a four or five. Hit that, then we go here to a shadow. Then you know, it kind of brings a shadow and I'll go up to a 20. Hold on, guys. Sorry about that. But what you want to do is, you know, make it a little bit bigger. Then you want to go down to these little two squares here, right there. You want to do this. Then it's automatically cut out. You want to go up to that little 
this thing up here, go to save. You know, you, you have the quality that you can put it at as you want. I usually just go, you know. <clears throat> Alright, we'll get rid of this. Get rid of this. Get rid of all these real quick. Come on, come on, come on. And now what we want to do is go to Pix, PixArk. This one of the other apps that I use. I'll put everything in the description. So since we took this here, what we want to do is go to right here. Kind of blur it a little bit to where it's blurred to the sides. And we want to go to border. I put mine usually on two. Then we go to photo and whatever photo that you just did, it will pop up here in photo. Come to see. Try to even it out like that. Hit the little check mark to save it to where it doesn't move. Then whatever game you're playing, uh, for example, I'm going to be playing. Uh, let's see where it's at. Ghost War, pretty much what I've been playing lately. And make it a little bit big there. Hit this down here where it doesn't save it. And all this stuff's in here is for other people too. I help other people out as well. Go here. Put that little scribe thing there. You know, the little bell. And since we're running with the M4, let's see if we can find the text that I made for it. Uh, right here. Right here's the text that I made for it. Oh, what's it doing? What did this do? Uh, go grab that there. Just make it a little bit big where you can, you know, pretty much can see it. So we want to go to the save there. Hit that little arrow going to the right. Hit save, save, done. Now where we want to go is to Snapseed. Take the photo that we just got done doing. I usually use pop. So they hit check mark. Hit pop again. Check mark. I usually do it about three times. And it turns out like that. Then go down here to S cube. Save. Wait for it to upload. Then you know exit out of this. Then what you want to do, and I think a lot of people don't know this, if you go to your gallery and you go to the photo you just got down doing, if it's that little pencil, then it, you know, hit this little three circles down there, then it gives you options to, you know, do other stuff. Like, it's crazy. I didn't even know that. But I usually use that one right there. I mean, you can use other ones. You can brighten it up, stuff like that, make it pink. <laughs> I will go with this one. And we got to save. And that's pretty much it, guys. Uh... I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you leave a comment down below. Let me know. And uh, hopefully I'll be streaming tonight. I don't know for sure. If I can't get anybody to you know join me. So I won't play with randoms anymore. So, But uh, but like I said, any, anyways guys. I hope you enjoy. And I hope to see you in the next live stream. Thanks guys. Have a great day.